Welcome back to Book Break. Today we are playing a game. I'm having another go at the 25 books challenge. So the 25 books challenge was inspired by the booktuber Books Under Covers. I will link to his original challenge video below so you can go and check it out. We are putting our own spin on it with prompts that have been sent in to us from you guys. So how does the 25 books challenge work? I have two minutes on the timer, I have five prompts and I have to name five books from each prompt off the top of my head. That's 25 books in two minutes and then once the time is up, I can pick five of those books to talk to you about. We are putting our own spin on the 25 books challenge though, because instead of using the original prompts of the challenge, we have had prompts sent in to us by you guys. Okay, I've got two minutes ready on the timer here. I've got a list of prompts I haven't looked at yet. Ready, set, go. Okay, the first prompt in here, books with an adjective in the title. Okay, his lovely wife, her fearful symmetry, big little lies, Big lies in a small town. It's got to be other bigs and littles. Little boy lost. Okay, the next prompt, books with a colour in the title. Uh, okay, how about half of a yellow sun. The colour purple, that's a good one. Uh, fried green tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe, one of my favourites. Two more, two more. Feminists don't wear pink, that's a non-fiction book. Pretty certain that's what it's called. And finally... Uh, Blue Water by Eamon Ansey. Okay, next prompt, book set in Scotland. Okay, His Bloody Project. What else is set in Scotland? Uh, oh, we did a whole book break video on this. <laughs> Why can't I think of any of them? Macbeth, set in Scotland, right? What else, what else, what else? Just trying to picture that video. Okay, we're coming back to it because I'm having a mind blank. Books with unreliable narrators. Okay, there's loads of those. So we have Gone Girl, we have Girl on the Train. We have Before I Go to Sleep, because she's got memory loss, so she's unreliable. The Hidden Girls, The Missing Girls, The Hidden Girls, <laughs> The Hiding Place. What's that book called that I just read? We're gonna call it, I don't know, The Hidden, okay, I'm panicking. I can do this. Uh, he Started It, I just read, she was very unreliable. And finally, who else is unreliable? Um, oh. Time's up again. So let's pick five books of those to talk about. This game is so hard. Okay, I've gathered five of the books I managed to name there, starting with Big Lies in a Small Town. This is a book I haven't read yet, but I am so excited to. It's like next on my list. It's a dual timeline story, so already I love those, set between 2018 and 1940 in the same small town. And there's this mystery that is going to go between the two timelines. Everything I love in a book. Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe by Fanny Flagg is a beautiful book. Again, we have two timelines here. We have present day when the book was written, which is actually in the 80s, when we meet an old woman in a nursing home who is telling the story of her life growing up in this small town. Then we also get flashbacks to the 1930s and meet such an eccentric cast of characters who congregate at the Whistle Stop Cafe. Sounds heartwarming and lovely, right? But don't worry, there is plenty of murder and mystery in this book as well. Little by Lost is a Persephone classic that made me absolutely weep. This is about a man looking for the son that he was separated from before the war and he finds this boy in an orphanage who he thinks might be his long lost son but he doesn't know and it's about their journey of bonding, whether or not this actually is his son or not. Blue Water, another massive tearjerker here. This is about a couple who lose their child in a car accident when their car is hit by a drunk driver and the driver is their former best friend. So it's about the woman in particular, her journey of forgiveness. Very moving, very sad. And then when you're done with crying and just want something fun and tense and page turning, My Lovely Wife is a really fun thriller about two terrible people who are married to each other. I would love to see you guys trying the 25 books challenge. Does everyone find it as hard as I do? I will link to the original challenge from Books Under Covers below so you can go and see his prompts or maybe make up your own or ask us to set you some. If anyone leaves a comment below and wants us to give you some prompts, I will invent some for you. And I will link to a playlist right here of all of the other times we have played games here on Book Break so you can click through and have some fun watching those. See you next time.